Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will discuss how to multiply decimals. Again, this topic is not that hard kung ano yung iniisip nyo. I will give you the tip or trick on how to do it easily. Again, without further ado, let's discuss this topic. I have here example number one in which I have here multiply 3.65 by 2.4. Again, multiply 3.65 by 2.4. So how we're going to do is to arrange the given decimals in vertical form. So we have 3.65 times 2.4. By the way, in this kind of topic, in multiplying decimals, you don't need to align the decimal point. Okay, so listen. So how are we going to multiply 3.65 times 2.4? Simply lang po yung trick. Here's the tip. Isipin nyo na nag-multiply ka lang ng whole numbers. Again, you need to ignore the decimal places first. Ito yung gusto kong ipakita sa inyo. Imagine that you're multiplying, just multiplying 365 by 24. So, sir, paano yun? Uh, the answer will be different. Later on, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ba siya dapat gawin. So again, just imagine you are multiplying whole numbers. So, follow nyo lang yung step o yung kung paano kayo mag-multiply. First, you need to multiply 4 and 5. 4 times 5, that will give you 20. So, 0. And then, cut. Um, you have your carry 2. And then 4 times 6, that will give you 24, right? Plus 2, that is 26, so carry 2. And then, 4 times 3, that will give you 12. Plus 2, that is 14. And then next, you need to multiply 2 by 5. 2 times 5, that will give you 10. So you need to put here 0 under 2. And then carry 1 sa 6. Then after that, you need to multiply 2 and 6, that is 12, plus 3, that is 13. So you need to put here 3, and then 1, at the top of 3. And then 2 times 3, that is 6, plus 1, you need to add this, so it will give you 7. And then simply add the numbers. So bring down 0, 6 plus 0 is... 6 plus 0 is 6. 4 plus 3, that will give you 7. And then 1 plus 7, that will give you 8. Sir, so what is the final answer? Here's the last point that I want you to do. After multiplying those whole numbers, you need to count the number of decimal places here. So we have here 1, 2, and then 3. Again, count the number of decimal places from the two decimals. So from here, 1 and 2. Dito naman, 3. So you have 3 decimal, decimal places. If napansin nyo, meron kayo 3 decimal places. To find the final answer, you need to start counting the number of decimal places. 1, 2, and 3. You will stop here. Therefore, the correct answer is 8. 0.760 or 8.76 Now, para mas maintindihan niyo yung para mas lalo niyo ma-master yung steps natin on how to multiply decimals I will show you another example wherein I hope na ma-master niyo na eh. So again, copy your decimals vertically 4.62 times 3.84 Then, imagine that you don't have any decimal Parang ganito lang, isulat mo to 462 Times 384 So multiply mo lang to bilang whole number You have 4 times 2, that is 8 4 times 6, that is 24 so 4 carry 2. 
4 times 4, that will give you 16 plus 2, 18. Then 8 times 2, that will give you 16. Ilagay mo sa ilalim ng 8, carry 1. And then 4, sorry, 8 times 6, that is 48, plus 1, 47. Put here 1 and then carry 4. Right? And then after that, 8 times 4, that will give you 32, plus 4, that is 36. So 6 and 3. Last one, 3 times 2, you have 6. So lagay mo dito ay 6. And then 3 times 6, that will give you 18. So you have your 8, and then carry 1. And then 8, sorry, 3 times 4, that is 12, plus 1. That will give you 13. Tapos, i-add mo lang yung mga numbers na meron ka. So bring down 8. 4 times 6, that is 10. So the 0, carry 1. And then, 1 plus 8, that is 9. Plus 7, that is 16. Plus 6, that is 22. So 2, carry 2. Now, 2 plus 1. It will give you 3 plus 6, 9 plus 8 is 17. So 7 and then carry 1. 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 3 that is 7 and then bring down 1. And for the final answer, you need to count the number of decimal places. So from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, let me count the number of decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 decimal places. So what we're going to from this point, you have 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So stop here. The correct answer is 17.7208. This is the correct answer for item number 2. Now I hope na sa ating video tutorial is tutunan nyo kung paano mapadali ang pagmumultiply ng decimals. Again, if bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!